Buddy Nathan Bechtold, editor at lakeexpo.com here, and I'm taking a look at the Missouri SEMA map, and we're looking at floodplains, and I thought I would show you how to navigate this map because it's not very intuitive uh, for those of us that don't do this very often. Um, and I want to show you how to find what the new proposed flood hazard uh, or floodplain areas are. Uh, again, this is still not official, but these are the latest data that SEMA has put out and how to see if your lake home is uh, is part of that. So if you go to the URL there that we've published in our article, you'll get to this page here. This is the base map. You know, you can zoom out all the way to the whole nation or globe, really. So we'll zoom in on Lake of the Ozarks. If you don't like the look of that map, by the way, you can change down here in base map gallery. Um, there's, you know, various other types of maps, just FYI. But what you want to do is zoom in on, on your area. Um, and we're just going to kind of pick a spot here on Horseshoe Bend. And uh, then you want to do two things. First, come down here to support data. Click that. And you're going to want to be aware of the structures uh, checkbox here, because what that's going to do is show you structures that are in some way affected by the Special Flood Hazard Area, SFHA. So you'll see these little red dots all over the place here. If you turn this checkbox off, those dots disappear. So um, that's a helpful toggle. You can see literally any structure that is affected by the Special uh, Flood Hazard Area. So I'm gonna have a hard time remembering that acronym. But then what you wanna do is go down here to Data Development click data development, and then you want to go to FRR2, FRR2, that's the latest round of data. You can close this, and then the FRR2, and it shows you these different layers that you can enable on the map. What you want to look at is uh, special flood hazard areas, and if you, if you do this, it'll, it'll show you kind of a, a map key, color key here. Um, and then changes since the last round of mapping, basically. Um, and so I'm actually going to do that one because it'll show decreases, increases, or no change. And so we'll enable that. And you can see what that did to this entire map. I'm going to I'm going to just slide this one over. You can kind of move those around. It is, you know, at least that's kind of handy. But if you zoom in, you can see obviously on the lake floor, it's yellow. Nothing has changed, right? And then you get into these areas, and uh, sorry if I'm looking at your house right now, but uh, we're going to use this area for an example. Um, no change out here. A, actually, a decrease in the uh, in the in the new data or map compared to previous. So down here, uh, Blackhawk uh, states and stuff. So like formerly that would have been in the floodplain and then the green shows that they've actually moved the floodplain down a little bit so less of that uh, point is in the floodplain because there's no structure here but that just gives an example um, and then anywhere that's red shows an increase and again you can zoom in even further if you want to see that and you can see all the kind of nuances of where they've basically moved the floodplain to a higher elevation anywhere that it's red an area that is increased, and if it's a structure, then it's saying that that structure is in some way in the special flood hazard area. Again, uh, I confess I don't actually know what all these acronyms mean yet. I'm sure that's in the key somewhere, but this is at least kind of a starting point. You can click on any of these and uh, and at least kind of get some, some property info about those. And again, if that's you that's affected, you're definitely going to want to look into what you need to do next. Um, so that's how to take a look at the SEMA floodplain maps and at least get a start to looking at this overlay and, and seeing how different structures are affected by this current overlay that they are um, proposing. So take a look at that. You can check out lakeexpo.com. We're going to continue to cover this very important issue for Lake of the Ozarks homeowners. And um, stay tuned because I think there's going to be more to come.